Poland could close the sky over Western Ukraine for Russia with its Patriot systems. Poland could choose to use their Patriot systems to close the sky over Western Ukraine, but that decision requires political will, Ukrainian Air Force spokesperson Ilya Yevlash said. Theoretically and technically, such a possibility exists as Poland possesses a long-range air defense system, including Patriot systems, Yevlash said. But this requires political will. If Poland were to choose to close the sky over Western Ukraine, the Ukrainian military could utilize its scarce Patriot systems and missiles to combat Russian missiles and guided aerial bombs in other parts of the country, he said. Recall, a Russian missile flew over Poland for approximately three minutes during an attack on Ukraine on December the 29th, 2023. Another Russian missile approached the border with Poland on February the 7th, 2024. A Russian cruise missile that attacked Ukraine flew into Polish territory on March the 24th, the Polish armed forces reported. A Russian missile fell 15 kilometers from the Polish border during a new wave of shelling of Ukraine on April the 27th, Polish Prime Minister Donald Tusk reported. Russia has fired several missiles at Ukraine that have crossed into Polish airspace since 2022, a provocative show of force by Moscow that risks igniting a wider war, according to Poland's president. We have no doubt whatsoever that these are Russian provocations and we have no doubt that it is a Russian provocation. When there is a missile entering our airspace, then it turns around and it goes into Ukraine. Polish President Andrzej Duda told the Wall Street Journal in an interview last week, while North Atlantic Treaty Organization forces so far haven't attempted to intercept the missiles, Duda said his concern is that one could end up striking Polish territory, destroying the infrastructure or causing casualties. Ukraine preparing for peace talks with Russia in June? Fake debunked. Russian propaganda has launched another fake about Ukraine, according to RBC Ukraine media outlet. In particular, it says that Kyiv is preparing to start negotiations with the Kremlin in June, Center for Countering Disinformation of Ukraine reports. The information that Ukraine is allegedly preparing to start peace talks with Russia in June is not true. The dissemination of these theses online is a manipulation around the statement of President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky, the statement said. The center noted that a disinformation thesis is being spread that Zelensky announced the beginning of peacemaking with Russia in June 2024. Zelensky stated, the global majority should force Russia into peace and can do it. It is in June that the path to a just peace can begin. In making this statement, the president was referring to the peace summit based on the Ukrainian peace formula in Switzerland, which will become a platform for discussing the future of the peace process. The Russian Federation will not be a participant in this event, so there is no question of any peace agreement being made, the center noted. In addition, it is noted that such messages help the enemy in its efforts to sow dissent moods in Ukrainian society. Since the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, several rounds of negotiations have been held between the two sides. However, these talks have not yielded significant results. The Ukrainian government is now clearly stating that it will not sit at the negotiating table again until Russia withdraws its troops from Ukrainian territory. Earlier, NBC News reported that the US and the EU had begun informal discussions with Ukraine on the possibility of peace talks with Russia. During these discussions, the issues that Ukraine could agree to in exchange for peace were discussed. However, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky strongly denied these claims. He emphasized that no one was putting pressure on Ukraine to negotiate. Thus, at the moment, the prospects for the resumption of negotiations between Ukraine and Russia remain vague. Ukraine is making its position clear, refusing to negotiate under pressure.